Fritz Women's Center could have some information that might change your life. And here with more is a good friend of the program, Dr. Red. How are you, Dr. Red? Good morning, Laura. How are you? I'm doing well. Great to have you here. And you always have some great tips for us. What are we talking about today? Well, we're talking about period problems. Mm -hmm. um, abnormal uterine bleeding can interfere with the lives of young women, middle-aged women, and older women. And there are lots and lots of things that can be done about it. And you're talking about it doesn't matter what age you are because I know sometimes we talk about um, conditions that might be specific to certain ages, but this is anybody. This is anybody. Um, younger women who are missing school can get help for that. Mm -hmm. um, women in their 20s who are missing work or they're just life has just changed by their periods, there's lots of help for that. Women who've completed their childbearing can get a permanent solution. There are two ways to do, there are a number of ways to do that, but one of which is uh, called uh, endometrial ablation, okay. where we go in um, with anesthesia mm -hmm. and go up into the uterus. The, um, the video we see right here. The video is now being shown. Now, is this the permanent way, or this is this is the... permanent? Okay. And this is if you if you've not finished childbearing, mm -hmm. then you shouldn't do this. Okay. But if you've finished childbearing, um, then this replaces hysterectomy as a way to take care of abnormal um, periods. And that's got to be a, a better recovery time and everything else. Um, most patients are back at work the next day doing normal activities. That's amazing. That's amazing. It, it really is amazing. And it's, it, um, you know, we've worked at this for a number of years at the Red Women's Center, and we have an accredited operating room, and um, we can do this with an anesthesiologist in our office. Well, that's one of the permanent solutions. What's maybe a temporary solution for, like you said, those women out there that still want to have children, but they need to live a, a normal life? That's right. Well, there's so many things that can be done. First of all, you need to make a diagnosis. So you need to find out what's causing the problem and then treat the cause. Sometimes it's endometriosis. Sometimes it's um, things on the lining of the uterus that can cause problems. So we do our best to make a diagnosis, and then we can use um, pills or IUDs, there's a specific IUD called a Marina, which has progesterone in it that'll lower the pills. There's implants, um, mm -hmm. like one called Implanon, mm -hmm. that's a progesterone thing. Um, there's uh, vaginal inserts called NuvaRing, which is a birth control method, which um, I've seen that eliminate periods completely for some women yeah. on a temporary basis. As soon as they stop using it, their periods usually return to normal. Are the side are there side effects that go along with it? I mean, there's side effects with anything. There's and everything. side effects with anything. Yeah, you that's know, some, true. Some women are very susceptible to blood clots, and so we have to be careful about hormonal things that we do with them. Uh -huh. Although we can use progesterone only methods in women who have problems with blood clots. Right, right. Um, but that's th those those problems are fairly rare. Um, most women d feel so much better um, on birth control pills or on some hormonal regulation for the temporary. Mm -hmm. And we've talked about this so much, Dr. Red, but the results, they vary between woman to woman. But you Absolutely. know, like you said before, if you just come out and you get a diagnosis, then maybe you all can talk about it together, you and your patient. Well, that, that's the whole point. You have to take the time to make the diagnosis and make the correct diagnosis and then treat the problem that's there. Right. And speaking of treating the problem, I think we have some more video. Just just showing the exact same thing that you're talking about, right. what you were talking about before, Dr. Well, Rett. This is that this permanent, is the permanent solution. solution. And now, what would a woman need to do, Dr. Rett, if they think maybe this permanent solution is something they want to do? Like you said, go into the office for sure. But are there certain things, maybe like medications or stuff like that, that would stop them from being able to have this certain procedure? Um, th th this this procedure is, is only meant for women who have absolutely finished their right, childbearing. Right, right. Okay. And, um, and, and that's the biggest problem is that people have terrible period problems, but they, they still, still want to have, have children. Still want to have kids, yeah. And, and so th we have to individualize for each patient as they come in and say, what's your problem? You know, what do you need from mm -hmm. this, and what do we do to fix that? Well, as we always do, we love having you on the program, Dr. Rett. Tell us where you're located so that all the women out there that hear what you're saying, that might be me. They need to come see you. We're on Long Point Road here in Mount Pleasant, mm -hmm. and our telephone number is 375-2210. Okay, and do you have a website? I guess we there do. it is right there. Rett there Women's it is. Center.com, so you make sure that you get in touch with Dr. Rett. All they got to do is make an appointment, they can come in and see you. We can help them. Thank you so much, Dr. Rett. We always appreciate you Thank coming. Thank you, Laura, for Always some me. great ideas. <laughs> All right, well, it may turn out to be a cuckoo night for the kids at the North Charleston Performing Arts Center. We'll explain. That's coming up next.